Hey, good morning, everybody. Welcome to another video with Suno. Today's video, we're going to be talking about this overgarment and how we can shape or change this shape into something other than just being a block or square. Um, so we're going to use the given pattern, which is the overgarment, and we're going to shape it. We will be working on the front panel first, and then we will go to the back panel. So what we want for this, we want to push everything aside and focus on the front panel. We're going to grab some paper and we're going to start tracing this overgarment block. So grab yourself some paper and because I'm working on half scale, this is the size that I'm going to be working for the video. It's just, it's just easier to navigate the camera to focus on this size. All right, so we have the overgarment block here, the front panel, and the first thing we got to do is just trace around them. Grab your pencil. The pencil is going to be the first, the, the, the basic overgarment shape, and then we will use some colors maybe to show the viewers that when you are working from the given block, which is the pencil, then we're going to style it with colors so that we can know from where we are coming and where we are going it just makes it easier for your eyes to focus on i guess um so this is kind of my method to go about it and i'll show you guys how we're going to go about it all right so grab your pencil or your first color that you're going to trace we're going to trace everything neckline shoulder line dot armhole side seam m line and then the front we can also mark where the center front line is so these dotted lines is my center front line I could potentially also trace the dot um, there we go there's my center front line let me grab a, a ruler and just copy that line in so that I know where my center front line is There we go, because this line over here is not my center front. That line folds in for the button stand here. So this is where the body, the center of the body is going to be. We can also trace the dot in. And we also have your bust line and waistline. We can also copy that over. It makes it easy for later. All right, so there we have a copy of our front panel. And now we're going to start talking about what do we want this thing to be? This could be anything from this block. Um, but because of time, we're just going to pick one thing and work on that one thing. Um, what I mentioned earlier is that the customer that I'm working on or working with uh, the customer wants some more shape in this block and the customer is looking to have like a little jacket little waistcoat jacket type of thing with shape and we're gonna make it from this block alright so that's what we have we're gonna grab a color preferably a color everybody can see maybe the brown and the first thing I want to do now is call up the measurements of the customer because it's important for us to work with that and uh, because I'm working on half scale, I'm kind of just going to freestyle it, but I'll talk you guys through it, yeah? Um, so the first thing that I want to look at is um, the bus line. So we know that this line here, the dotted line, is our center front of the body. And we're going to kind of add some shape to this block. And what I noticed that is my customer, um, or at least I've measured my customer and I have all of the measurement of the customer with me. And I've decided to just stick to the basic measurement of a size 12. Um, so looking in the book, here's my little diagram, my drawing, and here it's a bunch of sizes on the side here. And if I'm looking at the size here, the bus for, uh, that's a, so, sorry, size 8, size 12, 88 for the bus. And what do I need here is the bus, right? So I'm going to write there 88. 
and the next one that I want to check is the waistline for size 12 is 68 and then the hips of a size 12 is 93 that is the size I'm gonna work on right now please check your sizes for your customer and follow it um, you can follow this steps on your own block so the first thing we want to do, look at is the bust line and now that we have seen what the bust line is let me grab my calculator and show you guys how we're gonna go about it calculator there we go and because we know that we're working on one side of the body and the body consists of four panels two fronts and two backs usually yeah uh, when you're doing standard stuff so the 88 we're gonna say 88 divided by 4 and it gives us 22 so we know that the bus would be 22 for the bus waist is 68 we're gonna say 68 divided by 4 gives us 17 so we're gonna write there um, this is waistline 17 and hips is 93 93 divided by 4 gives us 23.25 so we're gonna say hips line is equal to 23.25 those measurements will come in handy soon all right so we're gonna continue so now we're gonna look at the bus line first and we're gonna check that hey um, because I'm working on half scale I'm kind of just going to match up the numbers so from this middle from this center front point we're gonna measure from here place your measuring tape here and then you're gonna measure from that line 22 that is the first measurement we're gonna check um, so let's say that 22 is somewhere close to let's say this block is bigger than the customer yeah let's say this is an extra large block that we copied or that we had in the cupboard and the customers are, is a size 12 and we gotta now downgrade this block right so from here measure 22 let's say 22 is here right there that's 22 um, that's for the bust we're gonna move on to the waistline then the waistline is 17 on the center front line we're gonna check where 17 is 1 2 3 4 5 6 17 and let's say 17 is there because if that's 22 on the half scale we're gonna say 17 is about there yeah so I have my 22 I have my 17 and now let's go to the hip line so this is bus waist and hip so now we're going to say that or check rather 23.25 is for the hips place our ruler on the center front line or your measuring tape we can measure 1 2 3 5 6 7 23.25 because if 22 is over there 23 would be next to it right 22 3.25 let's measure that and say that is my 23.25 so now you can clearly see that this is a massive gap here right so which means if i connect those points it will look something like this if i freehand it right now but please use your rulers so that is what the block is going to look like after I change this and make it smaller um, and that's essentially where we're going we want shape the customer wants shape in the block and now I'm giving the customer shape from the basic block right so there we have it and because I'm going to a point here you want to smooth it out you can grab your french curve and just round off that point and back to your bus point all the way to the armhole all right so that is basically how we can shape this given block into any customer's size we're not changing on anything on the front all of the changes is happening on the side of the body um, cool so the dot is going to stay where it is we want the dot in because the dot creates shape for the bust which is in between these points over here that is why we leave the dot as it is you could argue and say hey but what if i don't want the shape on the side seam 
can I not add the shape in the middle of the body? You can also add all of that into here and then you can connect these points and then whatever size you have here you divide it by that point there and then you just draw in another dot going from the waistline from the hip line from the hip line all the way to the bus point but we're not going to go into that we're just going to kind of stick to this one but there are other ways of adding this shape anywhere else to still have the same purpose all right okay people we're back just took a coffee break um, what we then want to check now is the dot is there we're gonna leave it as it is there are other ways to add that same shape into the middle of the block for the same purpose right so but for now we're gonna leave it there so now what I want to do is take my color that I was the the new shaped color and I'm just copying around everything that I want to keep so now we are here by the front because the customer want kind of a blazer slash waistcoat slash shaped garment we're going to look at where the button stand is of the given block and we kind of just have to shape around that but here because this is the center of the body we want to divide this this into half and just make a little mark there so that when we shape the lapel we want to decide where to make the break point of the lapel so here's the waistline you could say that hey from the waistline to the bus line i want to take the middle of that line middle of that um, of that block and say that that's where i would like my break point to be of the lapel so let's say we want it there so that means from this line we're gonna just shape it towards that point and then down there's a lot of jets flying about there huh? it's pretty weird if you guys can hear the jets it's crazy um, so here we have the break point and the, the the middle line or at least the middle of that um, button stand we shape up back towards the neckline because we want to keep the neckline as it is we don't want to shape the neckline and back to the shoulder line so there we have our break point everybody so which means if the lapel folds over flips over it will lay on this side of the block and it will connect these points grab your ruler at this point place it on the break point place it on the neckline or at least neck, neck and shoulder line and then you can make like little dotted lines to show or indicate where the lapel is going to land when it folds over, right? Um, and this part, because it's an overlap, because if you're looking at this as a mirror image, a uh, one half and a second half, you would notice that if this is the center of this block, the other block will also have the same center, so which means this allowance here will be an overlap an overlap right and then from the overlap the lapel will flip over to the other side yeah and um, so that is essentially just what this means cool so now that we have everything there we're going to keep the bus as where it is uh, the dot we're going to uh, we're going to use the dot as well so we highlight the dot and then because the dot in itself right there might be a little bit weird kicking my there we go tripod out of place it might be a little bit weird so what we want to do is we actually want to make this dot a panel line like a seam line panel line is going to be a shaped line instead of just being a weird random dot coming from the shoulder so what we want to do is go onto your waistline or your hip line over here take your L square ruler and place it L and then square a line down from the dot um, because this is going to be a cut line we're going to cut through it and we're going to actually make it a panel line instead of just being a dot a random dot at the top so what we want to do at this point is grab your pencil and or your yeah the pencil that you were using to 
make the new design and just reshape this area over here back to uh, those points because this will be a cut line we will cut through it so that it can become a panel line afterwards so this whole dot we're gonna cut out I'm just highlighting these blocks we don't need the, this particular dot we will have shape there but it won't be this standard dot alrighty people so that is what we have I'm just highlighting these lines because that's what we're going to use um, and that's essentially how we're gonna how we go about shaping the given block into something that's a little bit more figure hugging or more uh, appealing to the eye because this is just a big blob yeah um, after that we will then go over to the back panel and where's my back at and then we will transfer some of the stuff onto the back um, so what I'm gonna do now I'm gonna just cut what I, what I have and then prepare the back panel but before we get to that point everybody uh, my customer just texted me and said hey bro I actually don't want this jacket or waistcoat to end that low because if you're looking at this point over here hopefully you guys can see in the video if you're looking at this point over here because it's going out it might look a bit weird on the hip line of a customer because it might not be too appealing um, on the hips because if we're looking at the little drawing of the hips uh, let's say this is the customer's waist and this is the customer's hips and if I'm looking at this current waistcoat if I'm drawing it with the brown again and if it goes like shaped in the waist and then out but it's not coming back into the body so which means it's gonna make a, a weird little point over there the customer just told me that they don't want this point so now the customer just mentioned that it's rather better to have it just above the hip line so which means now I got to use that measurement and see where it is here so that I can just eliminate this part of the waistcoat so what you can do in your case you can check where the waistline is which is that line and then from the waistline you check where your hip line is and then you can kind of just divide that into three or, or four and then use where that measurement is going to land let's say this is 20 centimeters standard is usually about 22 or so but let's say it's 20 so which means five would be a uh, be the thing here if i'm dividing that into four and from so based on that i can calculate five from this point one two three four five and let's say five is there but i can see it's still part of the hips here because still on the curve so let's say we want it just below the waistline just before it takes the shape of the hips yeah so we're gonna go about there so this is me and the customer kind of um, talking about uh, the block and I've just persuaded the customer that I want to do it here so let's say this is where we're going to have it uh, power of persuasion guys uh, so that is what we're gonna have now so which means this all of this falls away we don't want that anymore um, we're just gonna end the block there and here because it comes to a point as well I actually because this is now me talking to the customer uh, I just told the customer is better to have a little round shape at the bottom there so use your power of persuasion guys and talk to the customer and say what it would be easier for you to do and what would be better appealing for the look all right so that is what we have and that's what we have and now we are ready to start cutting this block let me cut it real quick i'll probably speed it up and then i will jump over to the back so we're just going to cut the whole block out
at this point in time people I'm not gonna cut on that brown line I actually just want to cut this the, the the old given block the pencil line uh, you're gonna see why in a second because we still need to copy some of the stuff over to the back so that's what we want for now and let's grab our paper again and we grab the back and we're going to copy some of the stuff to the back real quick there we go grab your pencil again trace around the back side seam hip line center back neckline of the back shoulder line and then armhole there we go that's the back we just made a copy and now we want to copy or at least borrow some of the stuff we uh, did earlier it just makes our life easier so what we want to do is because we know from earlier on that this line here is the center front line and if that is the center back which means that line needs to link up with this line so if I'm taking this block I'm gonna just move it up so let those points touch check the bottom because this is the hemline as well so we need to be flush on that um, on the hemline and there we go boom and because remember that this dot over here adds some extra allowance on the on the front panels if I remove the dot this back shoulder line will be bigger so that is why it's giving me that little space there just wanted to highlight that um, cool so we are linking up there um, linking up here so what we want to do because they both of them shares the same side seam the side seams gotta be the same and we're using a different color maybe because we're doing the back use blue and we're just copying this over We don't need to copy the neckline because the back has its own neckline we just need the side seam and the armhole to the shoulder line all right so yeah we just also said that we're going to stop it there so make, let's make a line over there real quick and that's what we have people and we're going to just draw a line across real quick all right people we're back just popped out for a coffee break so here we have the line again we're going to square the line across from the side seam all the way to the center back line because that is where the customer decided hey i actually want this jacket to be shorter than you know just uh, not over the hips and that is the line cool we're moving on and all of this is going to fall away now and all of that's going to fall away and let's focus on the back there's a few things i just want to highlight uh, on the back uh, all right, so here we have the center back and for those that remember it, you will see that the center back is usually on fold for most garments in your life that you will find in Most cases the center back will always have a fold. in that case will we'll have a fold line and But when it comes to tailored garments and shaped garments the back in some cases have a seam line and because we're doing a tailored piece here and because it's a shaped garment we would like this back to also have a shape because it will give some more shape on the set on the back of the of the person wearing this little jacket if i can draw that real quick for you guys to give a little example what i'm talking about is that let's say that if you guys can see on the video let's move this up a little bit so if this is an actual person's back you see a little shape on the back and then it like a little dip 
because uh, that's a waistline and then it goes to the hips um, and this is usually the waistline yeah so which means if I take this back now and I'm doing it for this custom you'll see that the back will just be a straight line down so let's say I'm using my um, my ruler to, to assist so that would be this back it's a straight line because now you will see if you do it like that way you will have this big gap in between the body and the actual fabric um, and then that will allow more room for movement which the customer may or may not want so how to eliminate that we're just going to add another shape on the center back so which means this is going to be we're going to measure that and let's say that is about what three centimeters and uh, we're going to then just make a little dot shape it up to the point because that's the neckline this is the hemline we're going to shape it towards the neck but not shaped just a straight line for now here same line same you see we are creating another dot in the back for more shape and now we're going to copy that over to our actual back and we're going to follow the same steps here's the back check where's the waistline and here we can see that this is the waistline over here and we're going to square line across real quick making sure that it is on the alt square and there we go that is the waistline and we just discovered that it's three centimeters and let's say because of half scale one two three my three centimeters is about there cool so from that point we're just going to square uh, draw a straight line up to the neckline and then another straight line down to the new hemline and then all that we need to do now is just do a little shape or at least a little curve line so it's not pointy copy the neckline in of the back because that's what we want shoulder line that's what we want and there we have the new back everybody cool and now that all that all that we need to do now is just cut everything out and then add our seam allowance so that we can start sewing this into a little jacket i'm going to just show you guys right now how to cut this dot and how to finish off the blocks so that you can um, use that in your your design as well and remember this was just the same the, the front line of the of the front uh, but this is the, the line that we want to cut because that's the shape line of the lapel so all of this falls away uh, let's finish off the front so we're gonna cut along this line And remember that curve line over there we want that curve line as well so we're gonna curve and then when you cut across and there's our front almost done two more cuts and then remember I said this line is gonna be a cut line we're gonna cut all the way up and then we are going to just cut away the dot we're gonna cut um, one of these points first let's cut the top one there we go that is the new front and we mentioned that we're gonna cut the dot away let's cut the dot away back to that point and there we go everybody because when I sew it together boom 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 it will I will show you guys just now so there we have the front let's put the front aside and let's cut the back real quick And you see how easy it is when you're working with color it's easier for your eyes to know where you're going um, and not get confused um, at least I, I like to work with color and um, hopefully I can persuade you guys to work with color as well yeah um, all right so we're gonna cut the the new M line and we're gonna cut the new waistline uh, side seam of the back And the armor of the back and then the shoulder line 
off the back neckline off the back and then the new center back line all right everybody and that's what we have here we have our new front and our new back and what we used to get there was the old or at least the given front panel of, the, of an overgarment and the given back panel of an overgarment as you can see all right so now we're going to sew this together or at least add seam allowance to it and then we will start sewing it together so i can show you guys how it looks all right people back from another coffee break we're going to add seam allowance to these blocks real quick i um, just want to show you guys how we're going to go about it um, all right so what we what we want is to grab our paper let's put these blocks aside real quick grab some paper and then we're going to add our seam allowance here yeah? let's put the given blocks away and hopefully you guys can see white on white here yeah? so what we want to do is put these blocks down and of course you guys already know how to add seam allowance um, so we're gonna add seam allowance real quick I'm gonna do it real quick just so you can get the idea of the seam allowance on the dot area more, more, more importantly Oh, that's uh, the, the focus point there we go and then we're gonna trace around this block my tracing skills is interesting yeah so just to give you an idea all right so there we have the front let's trace the back quick armhole side seam hemline and then send it back there's there we go there's a back that's two fronts so of course everywhere we're going to put one centimeter seam allowance and that's because we're going to just sew it one centimeter if you are looking at tailored garments it's usually from 1.5 centimeters to about two centimeters seam allowance uh, we're going to just keep it basic and just do one centimeter. So we're gonna go one centimeter all around We're gonna go one centimeter on the hemline as well on the side seam And then one centimeter around the armhole and then the shoulder line of this um, front panel, but this is the second front panel. Yeah, um, same here. This is the front panel, but it's the first panel of the front panel Because it consists of two panels. Yeah, uh, okay cool So this is the shoulder line and then this is where the dot used to be but now it became a seam line and then we're gonna go around the hemline and then around the new front line and of course the lapel and then up to the neckline and then back to the shoulder line so that is sort of the seam allowance for the front panels the back we're gonna give the neckline one centimeter we're gonna give the center back also one centimeter all along the curve line back to the hemline of the back the back on the side seam of the back back to the armhole of the back up towards the shoulder line and then across and there we go this is the back and that's basically it everybody and here after of course the information that that we will add on to that is going to be a little bit different but we'll talk about that in another video maybe um, but if I can just quickly highlight what's going to cut the back is going to be cut times two because we need a left back and a right back and this panel is going to also be cut times two 
for the left and the right and of course the same applies to this one but because we're going to add lining or a facing on into these panels we actually have to cut it another times two because we have a, a outer layer which is these and then we have an inner layer so it's going to be of course times four yeah same here it's going to also be times times two but times four of course and here times two which makes it times four all right so basically that is the idea and i've had a pretty long conversation with the customer and that is what we decided on from the given basic block over garment we have come up with this shaped garment and if i can show you guys real quick how it looks i have a little demo here where's my demo 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 hey buddy oh there we go and here's my little demo for you guys made a little jacket um, where's my model a fly this model in from spain so here she is and here's the garment and if i put some cello tape over there just to show you guys how it will look and I'm overlapping these pieces right down there put some tape there as if the tape was a fastening like a button or something and here's my little jacket and if I'm covering my model from Spain it would look something like that this is the waistline there's the lapels and this goes to the shoulder line and there's the little jacket all right you see it that, that is essentially where we're going to go with this particular. Of course, this is where the back slots in. So the back is going to be connected to the side seam and is going to draw in and create more of a fitted look on the side seam as well. All right, people, let me know what you think it's in the comment section. Please drop me a follow, a like, subscribe on this channel. Thank you, Vanessa. And we're going to keep this channel going, guys, and hopefully... Uh, you learn something man even if it's one thing i'm happy to assist all right people i'll catch you guys in the next video this is suno rnr with suno and peace